Hey guys, Bowie here, back again with another video for you guys. This time it's about split testing, and this is something that everyone should be doing, because if you're not doing it, then you're losing out on tons of money. This is something you gotta do ASAP and do forever. All right, <laughs> so what is split testing? So split testing basically um, is marketing 101. It's something every marketer does when they're, they're optimizing Facebook ads, PPC ads, and this is what you should be doing with your Amazon listing too. So always, always, always be testing. So what is split testing and how do you do it? You change one variable in your listing, right? Uh, so basically, with that one variable that's being changed, you can determine if whatever's changing is gonna increase profits or decrease profits. Like quick example, if you were to test two different images on your main image, right, that shows up on the Amazon search page, and you test it over a period of two to like four weeks, and over time, it will tr you can track it and see like, hey, does this image convert better? Does this image provide me more traffic? Which image at the end of the day with all those other factors such as impressions, conversions, um, and all that provide me more profit, right? Because at the end of the day, you can sell something for $11.99 or you can sell something for $19.99. Maybe $14.99 is the best selling price to that maximizes it. Maybe this picture works better than this picture, but you won't ever know unless you test, right? So always, always be testing. All right, so let me jump to the next slide and I'll explain to you like why, like a little bit more of like why it's super important. So why is it so powerful to basically have an uptick in like conversions, um, even if it's just 1%, right? So for example, in scenario one, you have an item get, that gets 50,000 impressions, which is like traffics, uh, which means how many pe people visit your product page, right? And then you have a 10% conversion rate. So 10, the conversion rate means 10% of the 50,000 people visiting your listing or buying it. So that means you have 5,000 sales, right? So with 5,000 sales, say a $3 profit, you're gonna have what, 15, yeah, you're gonna have $15,000 in profit. However, if you split test, right, and say like you update the images or you do something else, and it, uh, it increases to, by just 1%, right? It goes from 10% conversion to 1% conversions. That means you're gonna be at 5,500 sales, right? So 5,500 sales times three is gonna give you another $1,500. And that's just like something you like kind of set and forget. Like I'll tell you about the tools and the software about it in, in like just a second, but who couldn't use like another extra 1,500? Imagine if your conversion rate went up 2%. Imagine if your like impressions went up even more, right? So think about all these like different factors that could like increase your profit. But like the, at the very end of the day, you're not gonna know if it works unless you split test. So I already kind of explained why you should be split testing. But at the end of the day, it's super, super easy to do. And I'll go ahead and give you my exact formula of like how I split test and uh, different variations or variables that I test, right? And what order I test them in. Because at the end of the day, like you do want to maximize your ROI, but then there's also tools that can split test for you. And that's how you maximize ROT return on time, which is the super most important thing you can do in business because your time is like worth the most, right? So when do you want to split test? So in my opinion, you should always be split testing from the very beginning, right? When you're, when you're doing different product launches, say like, hey, you do the boss to the walls method or hey, like you decide to spend some more money on PPC. Compare the results of the two, right? See which one works better. That way when you do your next launch, you know and you have data to base your new launch strategy on, right? Um, for me, Boss to Walls has always worked and that's what I stick to. Uh, if you don't know what the Boss to Walls launch strategy is, watch the other video on the page. Check it out, it's a pretty cool private label launch strategy. Um, and basically throughout your product life cycle, especially when new competitors start coming in, you wanna be continually testing and split testing different things. So like I said, always be testing because you never know uh, if that 1% conversion rate can go up that's hundreds of thousands of dollars that you, in extra that you could be making a year. So there's three different type of pricing strategies that I use whenever I sell on Amazon. One is I end everything in 97 cents, or I end it in 99 cents, or I end it in a whole number, right? So the thing with 97 cents is I found that it converts better, but the way I like start testing everything out is I start at the 99 cent mark. So I'll adjust from having 
an item at $19.99 to $18.99 to $14.99, right? I'll find which one of those is the best, right? I'll do an A-B test on that. Then I'll A-B test, um, say like $14.99 ends up being a winner. I'll test $14.99 versus $14.97, right? And that would be good for that section. And then lastly, if my item is perceived to be a higher quality or something, and I wanna really brand it as a like premier item, I'll end it in zero zero actually. So there's a couple of studies out there. Um, you can look it up, it's called prestige pricing. But if you end it in a whole number, it makes it feel a little bit more exclusive and more expensive because just like uh, the psychology of 0.99 feels a lot cheaper than having the double zeros. Um, so try it out. Um, each one of these may work for you, um, but you never know until you start testing. All right, always be testing. So what tools do I use to just automate this whole split testing thing? There's two that you can use. One is Splitly and one is Listing Dojo. Listing Dojo right now is free, so I highly recommend you just try it out uh, using that. I personally have never used it. I've always just used Splitly and I just stick with it. Um, it works for me and you can do A-B testing on both. However, I don't think Listing Dojo has this feature called Profit Peak. Profit Peak in Splitly is like one of my favorite features um, and I'll kind of talk about it in the next slide um, but yeah basically these two tools listing dojo and splitly super easy to use highly 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 recommend you just try it out stick with one and start testing so I personally have only used splitly so listing dojo could be a little bit different but the theory and concepts are still the same so I always test everything that's most important to the least important inside my listing because there's a lot of variables that you can test, but you want to test the ones that have the most impact and the most powerful ones first, right? So the first thing I do is I test out the hero image, right? So the hero image is the main image that people see when they're browsing the Amazon search page. Also keep in mind that all the tests can take anywhere from like one to like four weeks just because they want a statistical confirmation um, and they like base it off different like variants and variables and they really wanna confirm that like, hey, this is the winner and it's not only due to like holiday fluctuations or some random thing like that, right? So it can take anywhere from one to four weeks for each of these tests, right? So you can be, you can go through this list that I have right here and it can take you like months to do, right? You're not gonna do this all within one month, all right? Uh, split testing is a slow and steady process, but it pays off really well. Uh, and then so the second thing I test out is pricing, right? So with pricing, like I said earlier, I do you know the charm method, and then I test out you know between ninety nine cents and then ninety seven cents, and then I'll see how that goes, and then I'll move on to the next one, right? So the next thing you want to test is the bullet points, right? So test either one bullet point at a time. Sometimes I test like multiple bullet points at a time because I'm like impatient, but ideally you should be only changing like one line at a time and see how that converts. Um, I usually just change all of it all at once at a time and I'll see how that converts. But at the end of the day, you're testing and that's all that matters. Next, I'll test out the product description section, right? Um, if you guys are brand registered, I highly recommend you guys uh, test out the enhanced brands content, switch images out, switch the text out, see what happens, right? And then once you're done testing with that, then we can talk about my favorite feature called Profit Peak, right? So sometimes, honestly, I skip uh, testing bullet points and product description, and then I just move on to Profit Peak, right? So the reason why Profit Peak is my favorite feature and why it's, it's also why I love Splitly is because that after everything has been optimized, they optimize the price for you, right? I know it's kind of backwards where I said in section in part two where I test the price myself, but what Profit Peak does is like you turn it on, you tell them how much your unit costs and then they'll automatically tweak the price, right? Uh, by up and down, up and down, up and down. And it'll show you like, hey, like this is like how much it affected your sales and this is the optimal price. So like it'll, it's kind of like an intelligent repricer that reprices from like 15.99 to 19.99. And it'll tell you at exactly like 17.65 is gonna be your most optimal selling price that gives you the most profit and, and balances out sales and then like how much uh, inventory you have and expenses and all that good stuff. So Profit Peak is definitely one of my favorite features and that tool alone uh, will pay for the cost of Splitly, right? So highly, highly recommend uh, you guys check that t feature out in Profit Peak. And then lastly, uh, 
If you guys made it this far, I assume you guys liked the video and you guys got something out of it. So go ahead, drop a like below, subscribe, and join our Facebook group at Seller Tradecraft, and have a good day. See you guys.